In this tutorial, we will take a brief tour of Capture One for iPhone. More in-depth guides are available on our help site. Let's begin by importing a few photos. Photos can be imported either from the existing photos on your camera roll or from files. I'll grab a few from Photos. The first time you do this, you can choose whether to give access to all photos or some. These now show in the latest import album. However, I want to move them to my own album. I'll select them all. And add them to a new album. Great, these are now safely in this album. In the future, if I wanted to add more photos to this album on import, I simply need to select it before beginning the import process. Let's briefly look at how the editing tools are laid out. At the bottom, you will see five different categories. The first allows me to add ratings or color tags. I can easily filter to these in the gallery view. Several built-in styles arranged over different categories are available. Apply with a simple tap. You can easily import your own styles too, if you wish. Crop and rotate your photo here. Extensive adjustment tools are found in the Adjust tab. Choose the category here and adjust the amount to your liking. To undo the previous step, tap here. Long tap the same icon to reveal Redo and Reset. To reset an adjustment, double tap on the value. To see a before and after view, long tap anywhere on the photo. To go full screen, tap once. Zoom to 100% with a double tap. When you're happy with your edits, tap here to export. I'll export a JPEG optimized for Instagram and save that back to Photos. Why not try connecting your camera via a USB cable or wirelessly so you can capture directly into Capture One? Look for details on our help site or watch this tutorial. 